let us see uh, what is the contribution of lag network to the system performance and uh, this is given by a resistance alone here and then resistance and capacitance combination across the output. So, let us designate this resistance as R 1 and this is R 2 and uh, this is C 2. Now, I need to see that lag network is creating also pole and 0, but uh, what is dominant here? Whether the pole is dominant or 0 is dominant. To see that generally we assume that there is a current I here. So, you can write uh, two set of equations. One is input equation V I of S is equal to R 1 plus R 2 plus 1 by C 2 into I of S that is the current and the output equation V 0 of S is equal to R 2 plus 1 by S C 2 into I of S. Now, I can get the transfer function V 0 of S by V i of S. It is R 2 plus 1 by S C 2 by R 1 plus R 2 plus 1 by S C 2. So, further simplification of this to see that uh, pole and 0 at what location they are actually created. So, you can see that S C 2 R 2 plus 1 by S C 2 divided by 1 plus S C 2 into R 1 plus R 2 whole by S C 2. These two gets cancelled. Now, I can rewrite this as 1 plus S C 2 R 2 by 1 plus R 1 plus R 2 by R 2 into S C 2 R 2. In the denominator part, I am multiplying and dividing by R 2. Now, this can be written as 1 plus tau s in the numerator divided by 1 plus alpha tau into s, where alpha in the case of uh, lag network, lag network is r 1 plus r 2 by r 2. Obviously, this alpha is now greater than 1. And the time constant of this lag network is tau is equal to C 2 times R 2. Further simplification of uh, this transfer function is tau is taken out that S plus 1 by tau divided by alpha tau is taken out here S plus 1 by alpha tau. So, tau and tau gets cancelled. You can see now the pole is at S is equal to minus 1 by alpha tau and the 0 is at minus 1 by tau. Similar to the lead network but where is the pole and where is the 0. So, whether it is a dominant pole or dominant 0 is decided by the alpha. So, the pole 0 diagram pole 0 diagram of the lag network this is the S plane real axis and uh, imaginary axis. Pole is dominant here 
and the 0 is here. So, this is minus 1 by alpha tau, this is minus 1 by tau because alpha is greater than 1 here. Alpha is equal to R 1 plus R 2 by R 2 which is greater than 1 and tau is the time constant of the lag network. So, in this case you have a dominant pole that means dominant is the word that is used pole contributes negative angle negative angle. So, that is why it is called a lag network. The phase of the output of the lag network lags the phase of the input voltage. This is the reason why a dominant pole will decide that it is a lag network. If you see the Bode plot of the lag network, and this is the magnitude plot. And the phase of the plot, the phase plot of the lag network you have this way. So, this is the frequency called corner frequency omega c 1 and omega c 2 and this is the frequency where uh, the phase lag is maximum. This is the meaning of uh, lag network, the phase lag is maximum here omega m. Now, this phase lag phi m is sin inverse alpha minus 1 by alpha plus 1. This occurs at frequency called omega m and uh, this is given by the geometric mean of two corner frequencies omega c 1 and omega c 2. This will be given by 1 by alpha tau into 1 by tau. This is given by 1 by tau under root alpha and remember the alpha is here r 2 plus r 1 by r 2 which is greater than 1. This is making the phase lag maximum because of the dominant pole and uh, the time constant of the system is r 2 into c 2. So, this is the lag network and uh, because of the dominant pole the steady state performance the steady state error the steady state error is minimum because of the dominant pole uh, that is located in the lag network. So, we can say that the steady state performance of the system is improved with the lag network.